gents, welcome to another episode of Damo's Workshop. A uh, short and sweet one today, working on our project in Bolton. And uh, I just wanted to share this with you, because this is something that not a lot of people do, but it's uh, perfectly compliant and it will uh, definitely save you some money and some time in the long run, as long as you like air finials. So I'm just going to flip the camera around. So, as you can see here, we've got a plant area on our roof. Um, Cloud to ground engineers have installed some air finials. Now these air finials, four of them, strategically positioned, provide a zone of protection to all this plant. Now there's over 20 items of plant here, if you include all the AHU ducting, and not one of them now needs a lightning conductor bond. Because all of that is protected from lightning energy by those finials. And the separation distance calculation has been undertaken, so they are close enough to provide protection, but not too close that they need to have an equipotential bond. And also, because of this, it's only a recommendation that Type 2 surge protection devices be installed on the power supplies feeding all of this plant. Now, with direct bonding, you would have to have Type 1s installed, because there is every chance that them distribution boards will see direct energy. However, with this method, which is the isolation protection method, the chances of these items of plants seeing direct lightning energy is very, very minimal because they are protected by the zone of protection afforded by these air finials. It's just another way that cloud to ground engineers and designers save their clients money, time, and uh, give them a compliant system and provide the best level of protection. So uh, if this is a, an area that you want to discuss, get in touch with our team and uh, we look forward to working with you. That's it for today. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.